Guys, I'd love to welcome everybody back to the Independent Investor Channel. Where do you invest? It's the number one question that I get from new investors and seasoned investors alike. There's a lot of uh, products out there that you can invest your money in, but for the masses out there just looking to get started in investing, there is really only one answer to that. And I think new investors need to pay attention to this. You're gonna to wanna to stick around. I'm gonna show you where the source of this information comes from and give you a little bit of a, of a background on why I think this investment is applicable to the masses out there. And it can answer the number one question I get all the time, Ryan, where to invest my money? So let's get started here. This is the best ETF that I think exists anywhere in the world. I've done videos on this before. And I want to re-emphasize with the new volatility that's kicked up over the last 12 months or so in the stock market, investors need to understand where they are and how to get started. And I think they can get started using three very simple letters, and that is VTI. VTI is the ticker symbol. It's the identifier to identify a specific equity or an investment. What sets VTI apart from the rest? I think a lot of people look at the stock market now and they say, man, a lot of people are losing money. That's something that I don't want to participate in. I think that's a big, big mistake. I, I think people really need to get involved in financial markets, but they need to get involved in a perspective and in a manner that they can handle and they can handle the swings and they can understand and give, their, give themselves time to really define their own personal risk tolerance to volatility because I think a lot of people have really ill-advised expectations of the stock market and they get involved and maybe it goes up for a little while and then lo and behold their investment goes down like it's done for really the, the, the last past months it's been horrible and, and I think you can buffer that with the investments that you choose and I think a lot of people would come to me and they say I've picked the 10 stocks I want Ryan or I've picked the 30 stocks I want, or here's the 50 that I want to invest in, or 100, or 200, or 500, and it really never ends. And the chances of you picking the top 500 stocks, or the top 10 stocks for that matter, that are going to at least keep pace with the current stock market year over year, um, the odds of you winning at that strategy are very, very low. All right, so we engage in a strategy called passive investing. It allows you to invest in one, one equity. That one product, that exchange traded fund is VTI and it allows you to gain access to just shy of 4,000 stocks. Make no mistake about it, you are invested in stock, but you're invested in a small piece of each of those 4,000 stocks and in each of those 4,000 stocks, those are each samples that come out of the small cap market or the small company market, the medium uh, cap market, and the large cap market. So it gives you a very interesting diversified access to the stock market. And if you're a beginning investor and you say, Ryan, I don't have a lot of knowledge of the stock market, this allows you to get involved in financial markets with very little wherewithal about what stocks to research and what balance sheets to look at, what cash flow statements and income statements to look at. A lot of people not only don't want to do that, number two, they don't have the knowledge to do it, nor do they have the time to do that. So to look at a product like VTI and consider it as a wonderful entry to financial markets for those folks that may not have their risk tolerance to volatility defined is a fantastic way to enter the market. Now this is a product that I own specifically. I'm gonna leave the link in the description of this video and I'm also gonna leave the link in the comment section so you can kick over and find out more about the VTI which is offered by Vanguard. It's one of the most reputable brokers out there. It's one that I personally use and ex use exclusively uh, for my index fund and my ETF uh, investing. VTI just so happens to be an exchange traded funds, which like I explained, gives you access to the small cap market all the way up to the large cap market. And what that does for you is it provides you what we consider to be diversification in the industry. And in times of volatility, it's nice to know that you own a basket of thousands of stocks through that one product 
And it provides two things, diversification in that a certain suite of those 4,000 stocks can really suffer. Some are going to do worse than others and some are going to do better than others. But as a basket of equities, you can be rest assured that over the long term, you're going to seek out that uh, respectable year over year rate of return, which is from eight to 10 percent. And historically, VTI has been proven to provide that. Second aspect that I want to touch on is the defensive mechanism through diversification. A lot of people right now are incurring a lot of volatility and they're losing a lot of money. And perhaps maybe they're a little bit over their skis with their risk tolerance and what they awarded to themselves. And I think it's super important for people to understand that the defense allows you to sleep easy at night. It allows you to um, go on about your day. It go, allows you to do other things with your life and not focus so much on your investments, if at all. Passive investing is a wonderful way to free up your time. It allows you to, yes, become an investor. And I think everybody out there needs to become an investor. But you need to do it with some relative uh, perspective in understanding what your goal is in your investing, what type of risk tolerance you have to uh, financial markets, uh, and, and then uh, select accordingly. And VTI can really apply to the masses. It can apply to young investors. It can apply to the older investors. Now, if you're looking to start, you want to select your brokerage out there. This video is focused mainly on VTI. The brokerage that you choose is going to provide you certain uh, difference in uh, aesthetics and dynamics. Ultimately, your brokerage that you select is going to give you direct conduit and access to the stock market uh, in, the, in the form. Some prefer the mobile app, some prefer the desktop model more. Really doesn't matter. You can research that and I'll make follow on videos on what brokerage you should be looking at. Um, I like the top tier reputable brokers, but once you've selected that, you need to determine how much you want to invest. And I think $500 is a wonderful starting amount. You can prove to yourself that you can save that amount up to 500 and that can be your initial investment into the stock market. Now the, the, the discipline that you use to save up that 500 can also be used to deploy dollar cost averaging. Whether or not you segued $25 a month to the side in surplus capital, whether or not you've uh, saved you know, $100 a month, whatever that is, you want to take that and you want to continually add to that initial $500 that you've put into VTI, okay? And once you add to that every month, you're going to find that month over month, the compounding effect is really going to surprise you. And it's that very validation that I speak of that is super important for new investors to understand that it's not me telling you what to do. It's you taking an, uh, your own initiative, doing some research on your own, and understanding that diversified piece that baseline in any portfolio. The ETF VTI is not meant to be bought and sold. It's meant to be bought and owned over the long term. And I think that can really be attractive to a lot of investors that again, don't have the time. They're busy with profession. They're busy living their lives, but they do understand the importance of becoming an investor. VTI can satisfy that for a lot of investors out there. So consider VTI. Again, I'll leave the links in the description below. Uh, VTI housed in a tax protected account is probably one of the best ways that you can invest in the stock market. VTI offers a very, very low expense ratio, which is about 0 0.03, which is just about as close to free as possible. And it's one of those niches on the channel that I talk about all the time that is very, very important to adhere to keeping those costs to entry for investing in the stock market low where a lot of investors out there inadvertently accept two to 3% management fees uh, in their investment portfolios, VTI allows you to escape all of that access to or being subject to the fees uh, in the industry at 0 0.03. And you can own it for the rest of your life. It performs better if you own it uh, over the course of your life as you're uh, trying to pursue that eight to 10% rate of return per year on an average. Guys, I really appreciate you tuning in to this message. Leave your comments at the bottom of this video. I will leave the links to the Vanguard website. I consider it to be the ETF shopping mall for a lot of people. Kick over there, do your own research. If ETI does not suit your needs, 
uh, you want to make sure and, and, and do your own research and uh, consider BTI as I own it personally. It's been wonderful. I've owned it for years. It's a great way to invest in the stock market. Hit the thumbs up button for me, notification bell. Uh, leave your comments and share the message with anybody out there looking to an ask and answer that very, very fundamental question, Ryan, where do I invest in the market? Guys, thank you so much for tuning in and good luck in your investment future.